Hi, I'm Ron Hetrick, Senior Labor Economist here at Lightcast. Here are three things, maybe a little bit more that I'm seeing in this labor report for this month. First thing, and probably one of the most important, for those people out there who are looking or maybe hoping for a weakened labor market, there are signs in this report that may be a little bit discouraging. Uh, first off, let's talk about that sub $25 an hour person. This is something that we've been watching unfold now for the past two years, quite a war for talent in those jobs. So in some industries, we did continue to see some drawdown, uh, warehousing, temporary staffing. However, the types of people that those industries employ were really heading into restaurants, hotels, um, retail even grew this past month. So if you think, hey, I'm getting ready for the holiday season, and there, by the way, there are a lot of companies uh, retail companies, shipping companies that have announced very, very large hiring numbers. It's not quite clear where they're going to be able to get these people unless they got to go back and get them back out of the restaurants, get them back out of retail. But the reality is the labor market for people who do not have a college degree went down this past month. And this is something that is just going to be very, very hard. We know that companies have been kind of hoarding employees. Uh, the layoff number went down this past month. That's certainly not something the Fed wanted to see. Uh, so if you are an employer uh, looking to ramp up for the holiday season, understand it could be a pretty nasty market, especially in October and November, based on what we're seeing in this report today. Second thing I wanted to bring up was that if we look at our labor force, uh, we had an overall gain of about 90,000. But what we've been seeing throughout this year has been this kind of unfolding development. The Hispanic labor force grew by about 170,000. So think about that. Your overall labor force grew by 90,000. The Hispanic labor force grew by 170,000. That tells us that largely a lot of our gains are probably still coming from immigration. We've been adding, I think it's about two and a half million uh, foreign born uh, workers into our economy in the past like 14 months. So this is definitely a trend that is kind of saving us right now, helping us to fill some of these jobs that we know are kind of critical at this particular point in time. The last thing I wanna talk about is, you know, these interest rates increases have been very, very consistent. It's certainly not having an effect on, you know, manufacturing or some of these other industries. You know, consumer spending has been pretty solid, but what we do see are banks themselves have definitely been affected. We keep hearing about, you know, kind of record low loaning activity especially in recent history that hasn't seen these kind of interest rates. So you are seeing banks and such laying off at this time. The concern with that is these are not exactly the types of employees that are going to help us address some of the shortages that we're seeing in the other industries uh, that have been kind of feeling pain throughout the course of this year or the ones that are probably going to be trying to ramp up for the holidays. So it's kind of this kind of mismatch that we have in the labor market, but it's something to keep your eye on for sure.